Good morning. How is everyone today? <laughs> um, I have a rather interesting subject that I would love to talk about today. Um, last night, I was talking about it with Arthur on the phone. We had been talking about this on and off for the last couple of weeks, and I'm going to have to give credit where credit is due, and that's going to be Jason from Archaics. He had said something and set me on a path, and it was just a little mention of something, and I'm like, I'm going to look into all the avenues of this, and then I came up with all of this, and it's like, wow. So, you know, just like anyone else, if you don't have the right questions asked, you're not going to be on certain paths. So we really do need to have questions asked. So there that is. <laughs> okay, onward and onward. Jason was talking about the Phoenix. Of course, he's always talking about that and other things. That's his main thing. But he said something about bloodlines, bloodlines and the phoenix, and that it might be going down and looking for these bloodlines. And I was like, oh, okay, let me look into this. So I started looking into the phoenix, and I have been looking into it, and I started going down a different avenue. And what I found was the phoenix is not just going to be activated at this one point, but it's activated now. Today, yesterday, last year, last month, throughout this entire time we're in this sim, but it's on a small scale, and this is how I will prove it. First thing is, what does the Phoenix do? It puts out energy, electricity. It makes those Samvartica fires up and down and all that crawling stuff that's coming to a head soon. What is lightning? Lightning is the same thing. It's coming from that phoenix, but in minute amounts. Why do you suppose that is? I know now with the weather manipulation that it's being more directed in different areas, but if you look on your snow globe you'll always see there's always so many lightning strikes and what's up with all the lightning the lightning the lightning the lightning as bad as it is now that is actually connected to the phoenix but what i didn't realize was when archaic said something about bloodlines it hit me and it's like oh my gosh the lightning of course is alive it's got live energy beings attached to that lightning just like the Phoenix has live energy beings inside of it. And what it does is it does kind of like, a, you know how your body would have antibodies always protecting itself? Think of lightning as antibodies. <laughs> so it's always working through the Phoenix, even though they're trying to weather manipulate that shit away from them. And that's a big thing with weather manipulation, too. It wasn't just used as a weapon, but it was also used as a defense. Because if they can do things to make sure lightning doesn't come in this area, they're protecting themselves. So I was thinking, I have heard of people who've gotten hit, and hit with lightning not once, twice, three, four, five, up to seven times. And I'm sitting here thinking, I can walk out in a lightning storm and I've never been hit. And I've done it where lightning has struck all around me, but it has never hit me. And then I was thinking, bloodlines. The lightning is going after bloodlines. Why do some people get hit multiple times, yet everyone else is negated? <laughs> and I think the only reason, when I look into it, they don't die, is because they don't carry enough of that bloodline to warrant death, or they're not on that vibration or what have you. So some people that get hit by lightning, boom, and it finds them no matter where they are. They could be in a house and then they're dead from a lightning. What is in their bloodlines? What vibration are they carrying? And I'm thinking that the elites running this whole scenario have been hiding. One of the reasons they're always under the ground is they're hiding from the lightning, which is connected to the phoenix. <laughs> And then it's like, wow, that's a big one. So it's constantly running like your body would be running antibodies or white blood cells or what have you trying to, you know, weed things out on top here. And then I was looking at the, let me see if I can say this right because I'm always saying it wrong. 
Lichtenberg, the Lichtenberg on the ground. It's from the Phoenix weapon. And now it's like, oh my gosh, that came in too last night when I was talking to Arthur. And I, I started seeing the Lichtenberg things everywhere. And I'm seeing it being done with the Phoenix weapon. And it's like, whoa. Of course, now I have geese going above. And where did they come from, right? That's nature saying, you're on track, Sonia. <laughs> so those Lichtenberg things, that is the Phoenix weapon. That's the... Uh, residual evidence of the Phoenix weapon hitting, boom, hitting, boom, hitting, boom. And of course, at one time, everything was so much bigger. So I can imagine how strong this weapon is. I mean, oh my gosh, it's a world killer. <laughs> um, I do know that this time things will be a bit different. Um, this electricity of course, it's rising through Gaia herself because of what we're on and what we're in. And when they go down, these Kabbalists, uh, the elites, the, the evil ones, they're always trying to uh, go deep enough, but they're also making themselves in like a capsule because they wouldn't just be in the caving systems down below us. Um, they would try to fortify themselves from electricity. So that's another thing. That's why they're always having, you know, think of like a, a tunnel uh, that's under the water. You have to fortify it so the water can't get in. It's the same kind of scenario. Of course, here they come. And they're coming directly above me. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi, guys. Right directly overhead of me, a whole flock of geese, <laughs> Canadian geese, <laughs> with a big arrow. <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> I guess it did today. So now that I'm off track again, <laughs> but that's okay. So I was looking at the Lichtenberg markings. Uh, please look them up if you're unfamiliar with them. Everyone talks about them in the truther community and what are they? And yeah, it's the Phoenix weapon. And of course, lightning, which is attached to the Phoenix weapon, which is a, a monitoring system to try to keep things at bay, a hunting system. Now you know why the dark ones go underground most of the time. Um, I will talk about one more subject. I had gone uh, several days ago with my niece Faith and my daughter Wendy, and we went. Uh, I went to Maryland because you know I'm in Delaware, and we ended up going and spending the whole day Friday because today's Sunday, and we went and played mini golf and we did all kinds of things for the day. And we had a really good time. We walked the um, Have It Grace boardwalk and um we did other things too went to the amish market in joppa town where the amish are it's about the only place now that i will eat chicken because <laughs> i i can't do pork and i can't do beef because it's just tearing me apart i just i had to put that down years ago but i'll go and eat there and i look forward to eating my chicken there because it's not been tampered with because the amish don't tamper with their meat I'm not putting parasites in it. Oh, that's another thing. There are parasites in our meat now because they're injecting the animals with that crap, just like they're injecting people because they want the shit inside of you. I mean, it's not on the same degree as the actual, but it still can put in the nanotech and what have you. I mean, my gosh, they're doing it in everything. But I digress. We got on to a topic. Um, I started, we came home because we were gone all day and I was talking to Wendy because we had dropped her off. And we got onto a topic and I said, well, I've been having this nagging thing on me for months now and I haven't really talked to anybody about it. And I said, I'm going to bring it up now since we got time. It's like 45 minutes for me to get home from where she lives. And it's like, what if? And I'm going to say, what if? Let me put that in front of it. Because there's two scenarios this could be. The scenario that I see is not what I'm saying, but this is a big scenario. What if almost everything, including us, were still underground? And the lie was that we came above. And in reality, we're still in those underground caving systems. And I do know that we're in the dome because of the rainbow scenario. But what if we never went back up again? And the reason they're calling us now is because they wanna try 
to contain waking up to the point where we realize <laughs> and we can just go from there. Everybody, put on your thinking caps, start gathering information, let's find out where we really are. When I remote view and I go out of this, I always see water and darkness and that is what I see. I do know that we're mm -hmm. in a I don't know if it's more like an ice or tech or what have you, dome, which is why we have the rainbows. You always need to have a second medium um, with water. That's why you have a rainbow. That's why you see a rainbow. I also know that we now have two rainbows. You can take a hose and put it down on the ground, and you can see the double, the double rainbow in your water on the ground if the sunlight's coming through it. So it's a real simple thing. You have to have one medium with water to make a rainbow. You can go research this too. It's it's It's... Basic, basic stuff. <laughs> so we're double domed. But there's a lot of questions, a lot of questions. And we go on from there. <laughs> um, I love people that think out of the box. I love people that stretch their mind and their imaginations because we're stretching out of this reality. In order to form a new reality, you must grow here. Stay out of the fear. It does not serve you. Fear is served to you every day on every medium. Don't have a part of it. Say no thank you and walk away. Of course, everyone on my channel, we know this. And I'm just hoping that, of course, I'm extremely shadow banned. Of course I am. I'm not recommended. I'm actually hidden. It took me a while for uh, me to find my own channel when I went on somebody else's device the other day. And it's like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> So I'm, I'm really hoping that word of mouth, spread uh, the information, talk to people about it. Just recommend my channel if you would like, because the only reason I am doing this is to get out some info. I don't do the Babylonian cursed money system. I know that we're in that system and we need it to survive, but I have decided I don't want any part of it. I will survive the way I will survive, or I simply won't be here. I will not get caught up into that Babylonian cursed money system. And I know that sounds extremely unrealistic for everyone else. And I know it is. But for myself, I've made a hard choice. And that is what my choice is. This is why I don't accept donations. This is why I won't do it. I just simply, I want no part of it. I want no part of it. It is the chains that keep us enslaved. And the funny thing is that if everyone decided to put down the cursed Babylonian money system, it would no longer hold, and we would break that chain. We would break it because it would fall off. We wouldn't even have to tug. It would crumble, crumble like that. Think of fast rotting, <laughs> where it would just fall apart into dust. <laughs> but this is my choice I've done, and of course, a lot of people aren't gonna be doing this because it's not realistic for them, because we're not there yet. So, all right, I'm going off on another tangent. <laughs> so, yes, the Phoenix is working full and well through lightning, which is sentient. And, of course, the uh, markings on the ground where it was evidence of how many times this Phoenix weapon has been deployed. So we shall see. Okay, I guess on that note, I'll end this video. Everybody... Raise those vibrations, have a reason, find a reason to be happy and create the reality you want around you. You will not be experiencing the reality that's given you if you make a choice. And it's as simple as that. And the choice is walk away from the propaganda, find a reason to be happy and then do it. Okay, on that note, everybody have a great day and I'll see you on my next video.